Thanks again for watching the video. If you found it useful, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe as I'm always working on new projects and I'm going to try and document them and create how to's like this as much as I have free time. Uh, so getting right into it here. This is how I prep my images and imager specifically this this one image that I use for this uh, four and a half by four and a half glass mirror uh, of Christina Ritchie as Morticia Adams. All right, so getting right into it. Uh, an imager, you see I'm using the uh, offline version. Uh, I do prefer it. It is much faster. You will see that it is much faster. Um, so I'm going to start with my image. And this is the original image. All right. Drag and drop. There she is. All right, this one's a square. You can see it was already square, so I'm uh, not going to have to crop anything. So I'm going to go right into resizing, but usually I would start with crop, resize, sometimes for my canvases because the prints on canvases and wallpapers are a little bit larger than the canvases I like to use. <clears throat> you might notice me resize before I crop, but in this instance, I'm actually going to uh, skip cropping and just go right into resizing it. Uh, I like inches. All right, the mirrors were uh, four and a half by four and a half, but I like to oversize a, a little bit. That way I make sure I uh, completely over, over scan and print the entire mirror. Usually go about 0 0.05 over. Uh, for my laser, the DPI is 318. And this is uh, dots per inch. You know, this is essentially how many times you can fit your laser spot into one square inch. And uh, my laser is... Uh, 0.08 millimeters square, and uh, that equates to 318 DPI. All right, now I'm ready to pick materials. Uh, for the mirrors, I like to use Norton glass. You know, for the canvases, you might see me use some of the other ones. Norton glass. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you, you obviously want to uh, adjust the image. Right, and then sharpen it and make it uh, more refined. Now, I, I've found that as long as I'm using a high quality image, I'm able to use the auto adjustment button and apply. And it actually does a really good job. And in this one I did, and you can see it really picked up a lot of the details, the slats on the, on the wood floor, uh, you know, the, the wallpaper lines. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Um, now I'm going to save it. I've already made this, obviously. All right, now I'm ready to open it in Lightburn. So in my Lightburn, I'm going to go to Import. And I import my image. Now it's really important that I don't change the size and that I made it the, the exact size I needed it in Imager. Uh, so now I'm going to check my layers. And you see it brought it in. It, these are not the parameters that I used. Actually, I did it at 100 and 80 this particular one uh you know some of my other ones i'll do like 50 60 depending on the the detail uh you know i i found that 180 i don't have to sit here and wait over an hour for one you know four and a half by four and a half mirror it actually takes around like 40 minutes now um really important for this one i'm going to hit the negative image and this is essentially going to now burn the negative of what I brought in for the dithering. All right, and this is what's going to make it so I can fill in the back with the black spray paint. Um, and then really, really important is we check pass through, and this is basically passing through the dithering. We did an imager uh, straight through light burn, meaning that light burn is not going to dither the image on its own. You see it, you know, it, it automatically defaults the threshold usually, and even that is a dither. Um, and that's it. This would be ready to run. I'd be ready to frame and go. So, uh, I hope you liked it again. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Uh, thanks for watching.